Welcome everyone to this video. Today I want to answer the question, is free software safe? I think to start off we need to define what safe includes. Does it only mean that it's not allowing a hacker access to your device? Or breaking computer functionality or device functionality? Or does it also include applications that do or do not spy on you. And so I think that's something to consider. For some people, when they think of unsafe software, they think of specifically malware, viruses, programs that have been created to hack into someone's computer, gain access to something, break functionality. And then on the other end, software that does operate and does give the result that the user is looking for, but collects user telemetry, user data, and could be defined as spying. And there is two sides of this coin. First off, there's some software that's free that's very good for privacy and very good for security. For example, Tor, which is a privacy and security browser. And there are other browsers that are free, that are privacy and security oriented. There's also operating systems that are free, that are also tailored to privacy and security. Tails is one of them. There's other Linux distributions that are also free, that are based on the same model. There's also communication apps such as Signal, Session, Briar. These are free communication apps for calling and texting. And these are all targeted for privacy and security. And so a software being free does not automatically mean that it's suspicious or necessarily bad. But people do need to understand that when hackers create malware, a virus or something else, generally speaking, they are going to make it free to infect as many people as possible. And so there is a real risk risk or possibility when you are on the internet downloading applications, you could install something bad. You also need to understand that a lot of legitimate applications do spy on you and social media is notorious for this. And yes, we're on YouTube right now. Thank you all for being here. But it's well known that social media applications are some of the most common applications, especially on your phone, to spy on what users are doing, not just in their application, but on the phone itself. And some were very surprised when a vast which is a antivirus security company, which offers a free antivirus. Some people were very surprised when they found out that they were selling user data. And this is something that a lot of people need to understand when you're using free services. Again, this includes social media, possibly free antivirus software and other free software that when you use those products, those are not the products you are. You, the user, are the product. You're what's being sold. And another category that doesn't get talked about often enough, video games, especially free video games. If you went to Steam right now and start to dig into the top free video games and dig into the publishers and the development companies and who owns those, you'll start to find out that a lot of those are data collecting companies that are not privacy and security oriented. And they're trying to get as much market as possible via free games, free software. As far as what you can do to protect yourself, first thing, install as little software as possible. That includes extensions. I personally recommend installing zero and extensions on your web browsers and you just need to install as little software as possible both on your computers but also on your mobile devices this will reduce the likelihood of installing something bad but also keep in mind legitimate programs and applications can be hijacked and so the less software you have on your computer the less likely you are to fall victim installing lots of security and privacy software can be counterproductive find as few necessary solutions as possible and leave the rest off and if you are going to install something, make sure you know what it is, make sure it's necessary, make sure you've done your research on it. And for example, if you're going to install a web browser, make sure you're downloading it from the source, not from a third party source. Just be very, very, very careful with what you install on your devices. When it comes to social media, I would first off use as little social media as possible. Again, thank you for being here on YouTube. I do appreciate it. But if you are going to use social media, I would recommend using it in a web browser rather than installing the application. I know this can be inconvenient on say a mobile device, but there is a substantial boost in privacy and security using the website versus an installed application. And then again, just keep in mind, if you install some free software, some free solution on your devices, there is a good possibility that it is collecting data on you and that data will be sold. Don't be afraid to look to alternatives that can include paid alternatives. I know we often want to avoid 
avoid paid software, but there can be a benefit with privacy in paid solutions. That is everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month. Also, please hit that subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.